Welcome to Big Shoulders, the show where we explore the civic technology space here in Chicago. My name is Adam Heckman. I am Microsoft's Director of Technology and Civic Innovation for Chicago. And one of the reasons I got into this space was I was inspired by a group called the Impact Engine. And with me today is Jessica Drosiagin. Thank you for coming today. Appreciate Absolutely. Uh, I think most folks understand what social entrepreneurship is at this point. They may not know about the Impact Engine. Sure. I don't know what excited me about it. Yeah. Well, I don't know what excited you, but I'll tell you what excites me. So the Impact Engine is an investment fund. Uh, we use financial and human capital to support for-profit companies that are solving social or environmental issues. Um, and I think you got to know us as an accelerator, which is how we started four years ago now. Great. And you, you, so you, you're still, you still have the accelerator component. You're still nurturing social entrepreneurs, correct? That's correct. So over the last three years, uh, we've run the accelerator three times. We've invested in 23 companies over that time. Actually, 20 are still active. Um, they're both growing their businesses financially, but also making impacts in areas like education, health, economic empowerment, resource efficiency. Um, and we're continuing to stay engaged with them and, and try to help them where we can, in particular on the human capital side. 20 out of 23 is absolutely amazing yeah. in any industry. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the companies. Uh, what kinds of companies are you working with? What are these entrepreneurs working on? Yeah, um, let me give you a couple of examples. I think that'll kind of help it bring it to life more. So. One company from our first class is called Think Circa. Mm -hmm. um, it's an education technology company focused on individualized teaching and learning um, and really teaching critical thinking skills and literacy. So Eileen Murphy was the founder of that, a long background in Chicago public schools, an expert on how to engage kids and teach these skills, but really wanted to leverage technology and scale technology to make that difference. Um, so she came through Impact Engine in 2012, and we invested in her, again, financial and human capital. Um, and like to think we helped her get to where she is now, where she's serving about 300,000 students, um, obviously growing her business successfully, but also now being able to prove through some pilot research that um, those students using her product are in a semester improving their reading level 2.2 years. Um, oh, so in nice. terms of the impact side matching up with the business side, that's exactly the model we look for. Um, just another example also from that first class in a different area of impact is Peace & Co. Uh, Peace & Co. is in our economic empowerment impact area and is really a supply chain solution. Um, so Kathleen Wright is the founder of Peace & Co. and she had in the past worked with these artists and women in the developing world who were impoverished but yet had these amazing skills to create textiles. Um, the missing piece was the market, right? Customers that were consistent to give them that work. And so what Kathleen has done is partner with big brands in the United States, often you know luxury brands, uh, to design products in their design mindset that their customers will like using those artisan textiles as an ingredient. Um, and then that brand can sell to their customers with this amazing story about empowering women um, and connect in a design fashion that's consistent with their customers. So she actually did a, a big collection earlier this year with Nordstrom's and five different brands at Nordstrom's um, and is continuing to grow rapidly. So just a couple of examples where um, you know, our model is aligning the revenue growth with the impact growth. That's amazing, and those are two great examples, two luminaries in the um, entrepreneurial space. And you mentioned the textiles industry and education. Yeah. Uh, social entrepreneurs, they come from all sorts of backgrounds and they work on projects in all sorts of industries. Aside from textiles and education, what other industries do you see them working in or what other fields? Yeah, I mean, the, um, the main areas of, of impact that we look at are education, health, economic empowerment, and resource efficiency. Um, and really that can cross over different industries, right? I think, um, for instance, just taking health as an example, if you look at health broadly and some of the companies we've invested in, uh, one is called Prana Diabetes, which is helping people manage practically their type 2 diabetes. Um, one is called port pure which is actually a water filtration system. And really on the health side, it's about delivering clean water to people. Um, another is 0%, which is actually both a reducing f food waste, but also, again, on the health and wellness side, feeding hungry people. So um, there's, a, there's a big range of industries, I think, that these companies can touch. And it's just about 
as with any social entrepreneurs, I think being innovative about solving an important problem, um, and in our case, also aligning that with a sustainable financial model. And, and if you really want to have your mind blown, you should go to an Impact Engine demo day. Um, they are uh, amazing events. They're super well attended, and it's the it's the one demo day I really, really, genuinely look forward to. Let's flip the coin now and talk, literally flip the coin, yeah. and talk a little bit about investors. Sure. Tell us some of the things you're doing to engage the investors. Yeah, one of the things we noticed in our first three years of existence, while um, I think primarily we were focused on, on you know, finding great entrepreneurs and supporting great entrepreneurs and matching them with this amazing mentor base that we've been able to create. Um, along the way, the goal was to get them to the point where they could successfully raise seed financing to grow their businesses. and. Uh, we recognized that actually it, it was really um, effective to be able to bring in investors to care about impact and financial return at the same time. And as we move forward, we've decided to really increase our focus in that area and really proactively, as opposed to organically, reach out to potential impact investors and engage impact investors. So in May, we announced that uh, we are launching the Impact Engine Angel Network. Uh, we actually have almost 50 members already active. Um, some of those members are investors in our fund, and some of those members are you know, making separate commitments to be active impact investors. But it's been a way for us not only to um, add value for the investors to participate in our deal flow and look at these great companies that we're funding and supporting, but also to get to know each other and get value out of building a community around impact investing, not only through what Impact Engine is doing, but through all these other interesting impact investing opportunities out there. It sounds like a, a network in and of itself. Yeah. Uh, these uh, investors are probably, uh, they're definitely learning something from your portfolio companies, probably learning a little bit about each other as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's the goal. That's fantastic. It's also really exciting. What are some of the things that you're most excited about uh, now that Impact Engine is growing and it's moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm most excited about the momentum that we're seeing. Um, you know, we continue to see amazing social entrepreneurs come through um, that really, I think, just with a little bit of financial and human capital can make a big difference and create these scalable, self-sustaining models of impact. Um, at the same time, provide investors with ways to invest in these exciting, high potential companies, but in a way that aligns with their values or, or the impacts right. that they excited about. Um, and at the same time, we're, I think we're at the right time and place to really move the needle on um, the scope of impact investing and interest and the ability for people to think, uh, you know, together about financial and, and social return. Um, I think it's, it's a little bit non-traditional. I think most people kind of think about sort of over here is my financial and over here is my philanthropy, but there's so much potential in the middle, and that's what we're trying to unlock through Impact Engine. You're really tapping into something of a, of a new space. Yeah. It's all green field. Absolutely. So since this is Advisor TV, we need to get some advice okay. from you. Um, advice if you want to become a social entrepreneur, if you have a concept that you want to be a for-profit that is doing some good for society, what advice do you want to give? Um, I guess just make sure you have the fundamentals um, kind of locked down from the beginning. So meaning that, for instance, make sure you should be a for-profit, right? I think um, some people come in one way or the other saying like, I have an idea, I want to be nonprofit. I have an idea, I want to be for-profit. And I encourage them to sit down and think about what's the value proposition for this solution that you have? And is it a philanthropic or a for-profit value proposition, right? And then sort of choose what stat tax status is most appropriate for you. Um, coming in and actually having tested your idea and your product and really making sure you're in touch with the users who would use that product, understanding what is the market, right? Like, you know, could this be big? Is it little? Like, what are some of the, the hurdles you're going to have to overcome? So I think fundamentally, if you kind of add all those things up, I think it's doing your research. Um, the kinds of things and that, uh, that uh, any entrepreneur would absolutely, look at. absolutely, yeah. Uh, are you looking for mentors right now? Yeah, so we're actively um, trying to grow our community, right? So um, our angel network is open for new members. Um, we're looking for new mentors who have different kinds of business skills or different expertise in areas like education or health that would like to engage with our companies. And I think. We're doing a better and better job each year in being able to match the right mentors with the right companies at the right time. 
um, to really make the best use of everyone's time. And uh, so if anyone's interested in engaging with us, you know, I encourage them to reach out and um, we'll try to take note of, you know, what the right matches will be for them. Fabulous. Jessica, yeah. thank you. If you want to learn more, go to theimpactengine.com and you can also follow them on Twitter at The Impact Engine. Jessica Drosiegan yeah. from The Impact Engine, thank you so much. Thanks for, being for having here me. On bigger shoulders.